Hello, Dr. Atesh Patel here from CMBC Care in Toronto. Uh, today we are going to talk about IRPL technology and in particular EI ESW system. Now, as we all know, about 30% of our patients suffer from some form of dry eye. Now, that includes, of course, my and gland dysfunctions, but also, more frustratingly, styes. Uh, I think you can agree that our patients deserve better, uh, and so I'm excited to be able to share my experience with not just IRPL, but also other technologies that I've used in my practice. Now, I was very fortunate to be the first practitioner in North America to implement Lipoflow Thermal Pulsation into my clinic, uh, and I was equally excited uh, when I implemented IRPL technology into my clinic as well. Now, if you're like me, you want to know whether this technology is right for you and whether this is, of course, right for your patients. Uh, you want to know who is your ideal candidate to make sure that you're gonna be able to provide them the best outcome. Uh, you also probably wanna know what the expectations are for you and that patient. And of, of course, you wanna be able to understand how to be able to best implement it so that you're, you're doing what's best for your practice and of course, most importantly, for what's for your patients. So I look forward to be able to answer those questions in this video and many, many more along the way and be able to share my experience and hopefully be able to uh, address any concerns you may have as well. Now, when we were debating what type of technology to implement into our office, of course, we came across IPL and we came across IRPL. Now, IPL stands for Intense Pulse Light, uh, whereas IRPL stands for Intense Regulated Pulse Light. Now, that may seem like a small difference, but that regulated portion of that IPL actually allows for much more precise and deeper treatment of the meibomian glands, which ultimately is going to serve your patients better and relieve their dry eyes. So prior to doing any sort of IRPL treatment on our patients, we want to be able to evaluate who makes the most optimal patients for you to treat. Now, what we want to be able to do is, of course, uh, one, judge what their skin tone is using the Fitzpatrick scale. Uh, secondly, we do use a speed questionnaire to understand what level of dryness that patient actually has. But along with that, be able to look at that patient from a few feet away prior to your slit lamp and just be able to evaluate what type of skin type they have. Now, in general, anytime I see patients with any sort of underlying rosacea uh, or redness along the cheeks, I kind of already have a hint of an idea that they have some sort of underlying uh, MGD or dryness symptoms. Uh, and when I look at that in particular, I, I always get excited because ultimately what we do know with the IRPL is that we are going to get some benefits to the MGD, of course, uh, but probably some cosmetic benefits along the way as well that will help resolve some of the redness along their cheeks. So we're going to take a look at this patient and uh, be able to then perform IRPL on it. So with the IRPL, we know we're gonna treat five treatment zones right along the lids right here. Now we have a couple options uh, to choose in terms of what we want to protect the patient's eyes with. There are the goggles that can fit right over the eyes, or there are shields that, that are my preference, and this shield just fits over, right into uh, the eyeball itself, uh, over the cornea, of course, that protects the conge, and ultimately uh, comfortable enough for the patient to be able to, to sit through the treatment with. So prior to doing either, I like putting a little bit of anesthetic drops in the patient just to help with their comfort level. So I'm gonna have you look up to the ceiling. So as you can tell, once we insert the shields, good, close both eyes, patient is prepared to be able to do the treatment itself. Now, I generally will ask the patient to tilt away from me or to the left in this case. And what we do is we use a little bit of a cooling gel. Uh, this ultrasound gel is what helps protect the patient from any sort of uh, heat or any sort of higher temperatures uh, and keeps the treatment level comfortable. Uh, this will feel a little bit cool against the skin. And we want to be pretty generous with the actual amount of gel that we're placing onto the lids too, uh, because we want to be able to treat around the eyes and not feel, have the patient feel any sort of discomfort.
Okay, so I will put that level of gel on, I will spread it around a little bit here, and this will ensure that the patient has a nice thick layer of gel. I'll be tilt towards me if you don't mind. So in this gentleman's particular case, we do know that there is an underlying rosacea, it gets it back in neutral position. Uh, and so I will treat the area around the lids a little bit lower there as well. And as I mentioned earlier, based on the Fitzpatrick scale, we do like choosing um, what, uh, what energy level to be able to utilize best for that patient as well. So of course we wanna use protection ourselves. We just use um, the shields to ensure that the patient, uh, sorry, that our eyes are protected as well. So I generally count down, you will see or feel the quick pulse here. So three, two, one, and we'll do a few more. Now, prior to the treatment, we did have the patient clean off any sort of sunscreen or lotions. Three, two, one. Three, two, one. The beep itself tells you that it's ready to, to for the treatment itself, and I'm going periocularly. Three, two, one. And last one, we will treat around this area right here. Three, two, one. So what I like about the EI IRPL system is that there are five uh, sub pulses that go along each pulse. So as you'll see when we treat this patient uh, is that we are going to do five pulses around the, uh, around the eyelids themselves, but ultimately realize that underlyingly there's actually going to be uh, five times five, so 25 pulses. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and we're going to treat this gentleman's left eye here. Why I like the shields a little bit more is that ultimately I can get as close to the lids as possible. Three, two, one. So as you can tell, within just less than a minute's worth of treatment, we've done 25, uh, 25 actually zones, not just the five, and that's why I love the IRPL system from EI. And cleanup is very simple as well. So we just clean some of the jelly off here. So what I love about the IRPL and the EI, EI system is the fact that based on different skin tones, I can actually change the energy levels uh, based on complexion. So for uh, my patients, I have a, a, a quite a bit of a large uh, group of ethnicities uh, and I wanna be able to go from high levels for a lighter skin tone to lower levels based on complexion. Uh, and even go as, as low as light brown or, or darker brown, just in case I do have that type of patient. So I love this capability of the IRPL EI system because it just gives me a lot of flexibility with my patient. So for our IRPL patients, we do have four sessions of treatments, day zero, day 15, day 45, and day 75. Uh, and I do inform my patients that the third and fourth session is where we start really seeing all of it come together. Um, so we've had a lot of success with our patients. We've treated thousands of eyes at this point and, and really, really excited to be able to share my experience of IRPL from EI with you. Uh, by all means, if you have any questions, feel free to reach out. My email address is attached to the end of the presentation and I look forward to be able to answer any questions you may have and helping you help your patients the, the best way that you can.